Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey from Ripe Color. And this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. And we are the Weekly Wonderings. We read on five energies every week. I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five um, crystals in the garden. This is for the week of October 23rd through the 29th, the beginning of Scorpio season. Mm -hmm. I hope you're all enjoying the weather, whatever that might be. This is the time of year where I live where it could be 100 and it could be 30, I mean. Yeah, it's a little bit. It could even snow, actually, in New York on very rare occasions. All, all right. my tomatoes froze one year on the 30th, on October 30th. They, all my lovely little tomatoes froze on the vines. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. My daughter was in high school and she was trick-or-treating and I thought she was going to freeze to death. In the outfit she had on. But I remember didn't. certain trick or treats that it was so freezing. And then other ones that it's like, mommy, I don't really want to wear a coat. Mm -hmm. No. So. See, all right. we're old. We remember when you could go door to door trick or treating and not. Oh, my God. There were so many kids on my block. We well, just went around the block. That's all we I did. I know. That's all we, we did. Block, and it was like the, the bag was like beyond full. Yeah, we were we were like Boomer Central. I I came from a family of five, and we were considered a small family. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, every single house on my block had kids. I know. Um. All right. All right. Body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity are the five energies we read mm -hmm. on. Offer physical goods in the physical world. Uh, go check out our respective websites. Please uh, become members of our respective channels. We both offer readings. Okay. That's the uh, marketing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Body is like, I've got a plan and I really want to move forward with it. And I'm enthusiastic and nothing's really going to stop me. No. You really stop this one. Body. And mine says, because I've come to a new understanding, a new conclusion, I, I'm going to, I'm going to use like, so, he's the alchemist. Mm -hmm. So he, he uses everything at his disposal. He uses everything at his disposal. And the, you know, the energy of the alchemist is really like, it's like, I have this positive thing going forward and this, you know, hopeful thing, but I'm not going to discount the things that didn't work. I'm going to actually put a little piece of that in. It's almost like a little spice like I'm going to put in. Right. In order to like, you know, make it more like make it gel better or something. The other thing about this one, body, mind, is the crown chakra is a lid. I always mm -hmm. feel like that's the crown chakra a lid. It, mm -hmm. You know, it's this new idea coming forward and forth. Body, mind, spirit is like... Yeah, because I, I see the future. It's it's really positive. I'm waiting for it to come in. I'm ready to move forward. It's really bright and it's really hopeful. Mm -hmm. and it's really creative. And I'm willing to go on a new path too. Body, mind, spirit. And then grounding is like because I'm really clear about what didn't work. And I'm 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 done with, you know, it's so like I had the experience of what didn't work and I see it really, really clearly. But that's not going to stop me from moving forward because this is a nine and nine is attainment, right? Mm -hmm. Nine is attainment. So it's like, I'm really clear about this, about what I'm going to use from the past and about my future, body, mind, spirit, grounding. And my clarity is that, you know, I have knowledge of how to be secure. I have the knowledge of how to spend my time. I have the knowledge of how to... Uh, manifest things in the physical reality. Right. It's a really nice reading. Really yeah. nice. It's an it's an interesting week. The one place where um we have I have uh the our our uh, body is in restate and that means that right now you have more than one option on your plate and you're still sorting them out to some okay. extent. And that's okay because you have Clarification is coming towards you through through your own use of your own energy. Your mind is looking in the, to the path forward and it's open and it's watching for signs. And it's also a little bit in earth. And it says, I think this is a week when if there's been, if it has been unclear before, it's going to get very clear. The situation mm -hmm. is going to become clear what you need to do. 
your clarity is in the present and in air. And the clarity in air means be sure your thoughts are clear, which is always a good idea. Mm -hmm. But in the present, it means it's going to be happening right now. The clarification is going to come during this week. And the at the base of this is your spirit, which is in the root chakra. And that's a lovely place for that to be. He says, you are going to connect to your spirit in this situation. And that's what's going to pull you forward. You're going to finally... Mm -hmm all the pieces of the puzzle are going to fit together. So it's going to be a good week. It's, you know, and I think don't look back at the fact that this is important. Restate as a space means you look at the problem and then you look at all the options and then you weed out that part of the garden and you weed it down to get the plant you really need. Right. I think that's why like this one came. Mm -hmm. right? That's why he rebalances. Right. You're right. You're there. You just need to figure out exactly which thing you're going to use. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. So that's, see you next week. Blessings.